but when we hit our new button, it's a flashing blue light. Something I've always wanted to do is have complete control over my phone using my laptop. So that means touch input from the mouse and keyboard input from the laptop. Over the past few weeks, I've been playing around with some programs and I found a combination that works really well. For the touch input, I have a dual mode mouse connected by chip to my phone. This gives me my touch input. Then on my laptop, I have a program running which allows me to type. This system works pretty well, but it has one major caveat. Whenever I want to switch between my phone and my laptop, I actually need to lift the mouse and hit a button underneath it to change modes. But what if there was a way to do this by just reaching my thumb forward and hitting a button which does the exact same thing as the button under here? And that's what we're going to attempt today. These mice come pretty cheap on eBay, and this one's close to dying, so it doesn't really matter if we destroy it in the process. Looking over here on the side of the mouse, there looks to be some space next to the scroll wheel which we can mount our button behind. And actually looking at where the button is placed, we should just be able to solder onto these two terminals here. Okay, we'll go to our garage and see if I can find a button. So we've chosen our board. We can actually um, take out two of these buttons. This one here for the mouse. and this toggle button here because those are always nice. One eternity later. We finally have a button. That took a long time to get out of the PCB and I gave up on the other button because it was mounted by six solder points. It took long enough to get just these four out. Before we go any further, I should probably check that I haven't ruined the button in the process of removing it. To test if it works, we'll hold a multimeter to it and see if it conducts electricity. The beep when I press the button indicates that the button still works, which is a relief considering that we only have one of them. Now it's time for the scary part, drilling the hole in the side of the mouse. successfully broken through both layers of plastic. Now that the hole's cut, I'm going to hot glue the button into it. And we have a clicky button. Final stage is to solder the button we've just made onto the main board. I'll be using these two wires, which I have pre-soldered. We have got the solder joint done, now is the moment of truth. Firstly, it turns back on. Now, that flashing blue light, when we hit the button, it becomes a flashing red light. But when we hit our new button, it's a flashing blue light. Hit it again, it's a flashing red light. Now it's blue, now it's red. That means our joints um, our solder joint is working and I'll go assemble the mouse and we'll try it out on my laptop. The mouse is now back together and somehow everything still works. At the moment it's controlling my phone, then I flick my thumb forward and it's controlling my laptop. And of course the reason for doing this all in the first place, the switching process can be done without the mouse ever leaving the table. There's a slight delay as it switches modes but it's worth it for the convenience of not having to interact with my phone directly. Overall, I'd say this project was a success. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and consider subscribing if you want to see more of my projects in the future. Until then, I'll see you later.